So welcome back to another episode of 60 Lessons Learned Over 60 Years. And today I'm going to talk to Kirk Kessel about investing. On our last video, he said he had a secret. So we're going to find out what that secret is. So let's get started. So Kirk, you've been investing and developing real estate for uh, over 40 years or at 40 years. What would you say, um, when would you say is the best time to buy real estate? Right now is the best time. You know, I always bought real estate with a long-term um, uh, investment in mind. So, I mean, it depends if you're flipping or not, but if you're going to keep it long-term, right now is the perfect time to buy. Okay. So what should someone new to investing buy? I would start out buying single family houses. I mean, you can buy something in the, in the low hundred thousand dollar range and I would, um, start renting, you know, one, do you know, I buy one a year? Okay. So how much would you plan for them to put down on a property? Typically you're going to put down 30%. Um, you can get creative sometimes with the sellers, but the banks are going to want 30%, you know, down and 70% loan to value. Would you encourage buying pre-construction properties like your pre-construction condos or new builds? I, I would, but, but you have to have a plan B because what happens is a lot of people want to buy these, these new constructions. They put down their 10,000 or $20,000 down. And then when it's time to close, they don't have the money to close. So you got to be prepared to close on this. If the market softens a little bit, you better be prepared to rent it. So rent that's it. what I mean by the plan B. Rent and hold it for long-term. Correct. Until the market yeah. corrects. Now, now I'm a long-term holder, so that, that would work out fine for me. Right. <clears throat> so do you ever suggest leveraging an investment? I do as long as you have the cash to buy your way out of a problem. So if you leverage it too far and you don't have the cash and you have a roof that needs to be replaced or you have any type of plumbing problems, all of a sudden you got a $10,000 problem and you don't have the cash to fix, fix the problem. So when you say leverage it, is it going to cash flow? I mean, there, there's certain questions to it. Yeah. I mean, if you can leverage it and you can get a positive cash flow and you have enough cash to fix the repairs, Absolutely. Yeah, so if it's positive debt, then you it's can got to be positive. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So how long would you say to hold an investment property? Um, I think if you're going to buy something, it's got to be minimum five years. Um, and I always buy with the thought that I'm going to hold this property for 10 years. So is the neighborhood going to get better in 10 years? Is it going to decline in 10 years? Where's it going over the, over the next 10 years? That's always everything I look at. Mm -hmm. So if someone's handy, would you say that they should buy a fixer upper? I, I, I would. Yes. But with, there's another caveat. Are you going to fix it up um, nicely or are you going to fix it up, you know, with uh, is tape? There, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Are you, right. are you going to... You is gotta, their you gotta abilities fix. to the professional standards of quality, quality craftsmanship because whenever they go to, you know, resell it, buyers can see right through. Yeah, if you, put, if you put lipstick on it, they're going to see through that. Right. If you put real paint, you put nice carpet in it, you put new windows in, you'll typically get your, your, your money back on that. Mm -hmm. So what about flipping homes? Is now a good time? It is, but you're, it's extremely competitive, meaning there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing. So you've got big companies that are buying lots and lots of houses. Um, they've got the wherewithal. So there's, there's, it's a good time, but you're, you're, it's more competitive than it was five or 10 years ago. Absolutely. So, um, I mean, all this information is great, but when you talked about, you know, that lead in that you had a secret, what's your secret? The secret is if you bought 20 houses over the next 20 years, so buy one house per year, you're going to spend somewhere in our area in the in the hundred thousand dollar range. You can buy something a hundred, hundred twenty five thousand. If you buy one per year, by the time you're twenty years out, you would own twenty houses. If those houses all doubled in value, you'd have roughly two hundred and fifty thousand. Even if you conservatively say two hundred thousand per house, you'd have four million dollars worth of houses. The first house that you bought today in twenty years would be paid off, and you'd be paying off all the other houses. So the goal would be to own twenty houses in 20 years, free and clear, which means you got $4 million in equity. You could take that money out, re refinance it. It's tax-free. If you pull it out, you can go buy shopping centers. You can go buy warehouses. You can do whatever you want, but 20 years of investing will retire you. Thanks for watching. Join us next week when we talk about the lessons that we learn as a new real estate agent.